Hey guys, what's going on, dudes? It is David here. We are back with another video. Now, in this video, guys, we shall be discussing the Atlanta Falcons versus Minnesota Vikings game that just finished a couple hours ago. And the only reason I'm recording this now is because I've given myself a couple hours to chill because, let's just say this, I wasn't very happy with this game result. And you guys that are Falcons fans can probably tell why. 31-28. I did say it was going to be a close game, but I said it was going to be 27-21. And let me just say this. The running game was okay. The passing game was all right. The run defense was, whoo, good. The pass defense was crap. The pass defense could not get a tackle and they were letting everyone get five ten yards of space we let joshua dobbs have seven carries for 66 fucking yards what the what are you doing like seriously what are you doing joshua dobbs was 20 for 30 158 two touchdowns and he had a rushing touchdown joshua dobbs got sacked Three times. Cam Makers got sacked one time when he tried to trick play. Taylor Heineke was only sacked once. So our pass defense actually was manageable to rush the quarterback and get to them sacks. And even Taylor Heineke didn't play a bad game. Yes, the pick that he threw was kind of unnecessary and it was not the right time to throw a pick. But still, Taylor Heineke, 21-38, 268 yards, one touchdown, one pick. He had a QBR rating of 33.5 and a passer rating of 75.3. B. John Robinson, 11 carries, 51 yards. Tyler Algier, 12 carries, 39 yards. Taylor Heineke even had three carries for 20 yards. And when it came to the receiving, man, I don't know what it is about this man. This man loves two people, Kadero Hodge and Johnny Smith. Johnny Smith, the backup tight end, had five catches for 100 yards. Heard me. Five catches for a hundred yards, and he's the back up tight end. One touchdown, the only touchdown that Taylor Heineke threw. Kadero Hodge, three catches, sixty yards. Kyle Pitts, four catches, fifty six yards, and then it kind of goes down there. Matt Collins, three catches, thirty six yards. Van Jefferson had a catch. I want to see more from Van Jefferson, bro. I really want to see more from Van Jefferson. He's a Florida boy. At least Kyle Pitts is representing and actually getting some getting us some catches. Ben Jefferson just cannot get some cannot catch the ball for shit. He really just can't. I love my Florida boys. I would love Anthony Richardson if he was on the Falcons right now, but Anthony Richardson is out right now with the injury. On the Vikings side, TJ Hawkinson, seven catches, sixty nine yards. Jordan Addison, five catches, fifty two yards. Madison, two catches, forty nine yards. So in terms of the receiving, we kinda outdid them. We had 268 yards receiving. They had 236. But also, we had a lot of mistakes. B. Sean Robinson getting the ball punched out, fumbling the ball. Lorenzo Carter and Cadavius, uh, Cadavius, Cadavius Street picking up two fumbles from the Vikings. And then the defense. Daniel Onyemata, 10 tackles, one sack. Nate Landman, 10 tackles, one sack. Two tackles for loss. And then, of course, we had... Oh, my God. Who was the other the guy that sacked? Calais Campbell. Didn't I say it was going to be depending on Calais Campbell and Daniel Amada? If they could if they can get to the quarterback? And we got to the quarterback, and we still fucking lost. How the fuck did we lose to fucking Joshua Dobbs, who just joined the Vikings four fucking days ago? Four and five. That is what the Falcons are on right now. Four and five. We are second place in the NFC South. We are one game ahead of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We are one game behind the New Orleans Saints. And keep in mind, we have not played the Saints at all. We have not played the Saints yet. If we have to take a look at the re at the next next few games. The Cardinals, then the first game against the Saints, at the Jets, 
versus the Buccaneers, versus the Panthers, versus the Colts, versus the Bears, versus the Saints. That's not an easy schedule comparing to what you're looking at. Like, the Cardinals, if we lose against the Cardinals, let's just say this. The next video, you, the next Falcons review you guys see, it's going to be filled with curse words. I can tell you that if we lose against the Cardinals. But Kyler Murray, I think Kyler Murray may be back for that game, so it may, may be fair. But if it's Clayton Toon, at the way Clayton Toon performed today, if we lose that game, oh, it's done for Arthur Smith. It's absolutely done. The Saints, first game, and it's going to be at home. Cam Jordan, let's play against the Saints, no matter what. Then against the Jets. All right, Cardinals, that's a W. Saints, that can go either way. Jets, I think that's going to be a loss. Buccaneers. We beat Buccaneer. We beat the Buccaneers first time. I don't think we're beating the Buccaneers twice. Panthers, debatable. Colts, debatable. Bears, Justin Fields plays good. Debatable. Saints, that's L. So the only game I can really see us winning is against the Cardinals. And let's say this. Let's say that we do beat the Cardinals. Then we beat the Saints. Get the first win against the Saints. Then we lose against the Jets. Lose against the Buccaneers. Lose against the Panthers, beat the Colts, lose against the Bears, lose against the Saints. Keep in mind, that'd be one, two, three, four. Four losses. And we are at four and five. You know what that would mean? We'd be out of the playoffs because we would finish eight and nine. And keep in mind, I said most of those most of these games are toss-ups. There's a good possibility that we, after the Cardinals, we do not pick up another win for the rest of the season. I'm going to be straight and honest with you. Taylor Heineke, if you guys are asking, if you guys are going to ask me in the comments, who would I rather have, Desmond Ritter or Taylor Heineke? I'm going to say Taylor Heineke because Taylor Heineke has kept us in these games. Yes, he did throw an ill-advised pick, but even look at last week when we played the Tennessee Titans. He came back and put us within a touchdown score of that game, and that was after Will Levis. Played his ass off throwing four fucking touchdowns. <sighs> four and five. At most, the rest of the season, our bye is going to be, I think our bye is after the Cardinals game. So that's going to be a perfect. Hopefully we pick up a win against the Cardinals and head into the bye and then come off and pick up the win against the Saints. Because I can tell you this, we, lo we lose these next two games. Arthur Smith ain't the Falcons coach. There is no fucking way if he loses against the Cardinals and loses against the Saints. Coming off a bye and losing against the Saints, that would put us at what? That would put us at 4-7? Four 4-7. and, seven? Four and seven. With the Jets remaining, Buccaneers again, Panthers again. And let's, not, let's not forget the Saints are there again. There's the possibility that this Falcons team may finish, what, 5-12? and 12? What do we have? How many wins? We have four wins right now. All right, I'm not going to say that. We're not going to finish 5-12. and 12. There's a good possibility this team may finish 6-11. and 7-10. And, and if we finish... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look you dead in the camera. We finish 7-10 again. I do not want Arthur Smith as the coach anymore. He has had his chance. We started off the season perfectly. Two wins. Panthers, Packers. 24-10, 25-24. Losing against the Lions, 20-6. Losing against the Jaguars, 23-7. Those games are just like, we couldn't score a single thing. This is Desmond Ritter, by the way. Ja and then we beat the Texans, barely thanks to Young Way fucking Koo, who came through. Young Way Koo came through. Commanders, 24-16. Buccaneers win. Young Way Koo again. Titans, Will Levis put up a game. And Ty Taylor Haneke kept this in the game because... That game could have possibly finished like 20, possibly even like 30 something to 14, but 28 3. 28 to 23. And then this game against the Vikings, 31 to 28. This is a game that we should have won. This is a game that we should have won. We lost against Joshua Dobbs. Keep in mind, I want, I'm going to let, I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys straight know. The Vikings don't have their starting quarterback, Kirk Cousins. The Vikings don't have their best wide receiver. Justin Jefferson and we still fucking lost if I have to say one thing about this game in general 
what is our pass defense? Our pass defense, let's say, hold on, let me take a look at this. 24, 24 points, 24 points again, 25 points again, 6 points, 7 points, 21 points, 16 points, 16 points, 23 points, 28 points. In his first game as the Falcons, Falcons quarterback, this is the most amount of points that the Falcons have scored. And we still lost. I, at the end of the season, whatever the Bears record is, if they are not in position for a top two pick or a top five pick, Atlanta Falcons, Arthur Smith, I want you to do one thing. I'm going to look you dead straight in the camera. Trade for Justin Fields. That is all I ask. Trade for Justin Fields. Because Justin Fields, no matter what you say about him, you know, like throwing ill advised passes, he can actually help us move the offense a lot better. And if we end up firing Arthur Smith, then hell, we'll have a new starting quarterback. We'll probably get one in the draft. And if you, we have to go get J.J. McCarthy from Michigan, I'll take that. Anybody is better than Ritter. Peace out.